Hello, folks. Well, it's still winter here in the Midwest, so I decided to head out to Torrey Pines, California to do a little slope soaring. You know, I spent many hundreds of hours slope soaring the coast when I lived here. It was always a blast and calm flying. Well, today, while I was gliding one of my favorite slope soars, I saw in the distance an unmistakable shaped bird, the SR-71 Blackbird. It is an unmistakable shape, so graceful, so I landed and watched it fly. Well, I don't think too many people have actually seen the blackbird fly. So here for your enjoyment is what I saw. <laughs> well, I know what you're saying, but if you're stuck at home and you can't do anything right now, you might want to consider sitting down and doing a little flying like this, or even fly with me online. Well, landing is not the easiest in the world here, or any slope soaring on the beach, but, uh, hmm, where am I going to land this thing? Okay, that was fun, especially landing crosswind in a westerly flow and not hitting anybody on the beach. Also, that's very illegal in real life. But now I'm going to show you the difference between standard auto zoom and keeping the ground in view as I practice with the Pitts S2 biplane before I fly my real Byron Pitts S1. Well, the reason that I show you this is because a friend came over to fly my sim and he says he does not like not being able to see the ground. I said, well, then I'm just going to simply turn on the option to keep the ground in view. Here's the example. So you can see I got the wind cranked up and I've got my transmitter showing so you can actually see what I'm doing here. But the plane basically stays in sight and uh, big enough to see all the time, although you can't see the ground. I personally like it this way. Well, there are many good simulators on the market today and all will teach you how to move the sticks and stay oriented. They're really good to prepare you for actually flying a model outside, so fly what you like. So, simulator or real flying, you still got to know which way to move the sticks, so it's good practice. This simulator is actually harder to fly than most because it's challenging, and that's the way you really want it, to be like real life. That's why I got the wing cranked up to 18 miles an hour. So if you come fly with me, you can expect the wind to be turned up. <laughs> it's always windy here in Iowa, and that's the way I like to practice. Because if you don't learn to fly in the wind, you don't get to fly. And again, I just have the transmitter on so you can see what I'm doing, and also the wind and wind direction with the compass. I can turn that all on or off at any time. 
So now you see that I'm going to go ahead and change this to keep the ground in view. And we're going to take off again and try it so you can see the difference. See, when I get some altitude, the plane gets quite small. And on the simulator, that's uh, a big difference. Of course, I'm flying on a 55-inch screen, and I can see it better, but it does get pretty small in order to keep the ground in view, especially if you're flying on a smaller computer screen. All right, I'll show you the difference on the helicopter now. This is an SOSOX 700. And again, like I say, you know, you can zoom in and out before you fly. Uh, and also, you are standing on the ground. And you can actually move it around and put the machine anywhere you want to. And this also gives you a good view of the flying site that you're flying at. So let's go ahead and take off. And this is keeping the ground not in view, but keeping the plane on auto zoom. Go ahead and cut the engine off here and do an all rotate. Now I'm going to switch the view to actually keep the ground in view. So there we go. Try to do the same maneuvers, I kind of forget. The wind blowing like that blows it around pretty good. So you can see when you get up high, it gets very small. Personally, I, I know where I am. I'm standing on the ground and I like to do that. But some people like the uh, to keep the ground in view. And again, shut it off and 
practice monitor rotates. So that's it folks, this is the Aerofly RC7 Ultimate. You can get it on steampowered.com, made in Germany. Like I said before, any simulator is really good, so it's up to you what you like. I really like this one because as I fly real helicopters and airplanes, I know the difference between the real stuff and the simulator, and this, to me, feels the best. So I know everybody's stuck at home and it's winter here and I still can't fly outside. So if you got Aerofly, come and fly with me online and we'll have some fun. Other than that, try to stay healthy and uh, we'll talk to you next time. This is Nightflyer signing off for now.